Now, I'm gonna leave you this one verse. Several millennia ago, Job asked the most important question that you could ever ask that anybody is ever gonna have to deal with and everybody will have to deal with upon death or the return of Jesus Christ. He asked this in Job 9, 2. How can a man be in the right before God? Now that is the preeminent question of the human being. How can any man, woman, child be in the right before God? Because each of us is inextricably and eternally in the wrong before God on our own. So the answer to Job's question is, you can't. No one can. Somebody else is gonna have to do it. Not a man, but a God-man is gonna have to be in the right before God. And God, in his graciousness, is willing to transfer the righteousness achieved, the rightness, achieved by Jesus to you. How? By faith. That's how you get it. He's gonna credit righteousness to your bankrupt account through faith in his son, the one who paid the redemption, thus declare you right though you are not. That's the gospel. That's the truth of this word. Do you see now, do we all see the magnitude of this text, the density of this text, the length of this rib? There's so much meat on this bone. Don't ever let this become trite or cliche or rote in your life or in your house. Let this always be fresh and new. The marvel, always marvel at the magnitude of God's holiness, the depth of your own sinfulness and the graciousness of God to send himself to achieve perfect righteousness and then impute it to you while you just give him your old filthy rags.